So learning how a computer allocates memory is going to turn you into the elite tier of junior developer. After you learn this, you are pretty much going to be nerd special ops. And the best part of all is that it's pretty easy to understand if you can just understand a few things up front. And the first thing to understand is the difference between a primitive type and a reference type. We've already talked about a primitive type. A primitive type is very primitive data types. And it's just the way that it sounds. A primitive type is going to be things like strings, numbers, Booleans, these are going to be very simple data types and primitive is just the way that it sounds. Reference types, we will talk about what the word reference actually means, but whenever you see the word reference type, just think it is a big data type. A primitive data type is small. It's very primitive. It's very small. A reference type is a very big data type. Now we need to know the difference between the stack and the heap. The stack and the heap are where computers actually store information. And a primitive type goes on the stack and a reference type goes on the heap. So just know the correlation, primitive, stack, reference, heap. The reference type is just a big data type and the heap is designed to store big data types. The primitive type will store things on the stack Functions are stored on the stack, but let's not get too carried away. Just know that difference between them and know the correlation. Now let's step through a very simple program and let's see how this actual process is going to be broken down and how it actually works once you actually execute the program. So over here is going to be our very simple Visual Studio Code. Just imagine that this is Visual Studio Code right here. And as soon as we run the program, as soon as we hit control save, what's going to happen is that the program is going to execute. We don't have any if else statements right now. So it's going to be very simple. It's just going to step through one by one and execute. And sequentially it's going to go here. It's going to put the simple primitive data types on the stack because they are very simple. They are primitive data types. So they once again are going to go on the stack. So we will put Next one is going to go on the stack as well too. But notice that the array, an array is a pretty big data types. Arrays can be huge. Objects can be huge as well too. And if we want to understand how this works, just really realize that it's going to place the array on the heap, but notice something. And this is why they call it a reference type. It's going to store a reference to the array. So just imagine that whenever it is actually so as soon as the actual array is placed on the stack what's going to happen is it's going to place it on the heap but it's going to store a reference on the stack and think about it it kind of makes sense say you were going to buy an airplane say you were going to buy a car a car is way too big to actually ship to your house. So what's going to happen is that they're going to put the car or the airplane that you purchased, say on Amazon, just say that you could purchase a plane on Amazon. They're going to store the plane at an airport because they can't actually ship the plane to your door. So they're going to essentially have a reference sent to your door so that you can know where to go get your airplane once they ship it to your house and you can actually go get it. And this is the same exact concept, but in programming. Even though that the array is going to be stored on the heap, it can't place big data types on the stack because it needs a reference. So it's going to store a reference to it. And whenever you want to actually access your array, your reference will be stored on the heap for you to go get your airplane or go get to your car whenever you need it. And this is going to happen on the and this is going to happen in the exact same way, but it's going to do the same thing with an object. So your object is going to be stored and then a reference is going to be stored on the stack. So we'll say reference to object. And this is a far more complicated process than it really seems to be. There's a lot more moving parts, but overall for a junior programmer, that's really all you need to understand about the stack and the heap. And it's not nearly as complicated as people make it out to be. And if you can understand that basic concept of primitive types are stored on the stack and reference types are stored on the heap, 
you can quickly understand the more complicated parts of how computer memory is allocated. Anyways, that's going to be the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.